Get after it, MP. No brotherly love for the Sixers tonight, kid. Let's get that win. Game time, baby. MP, over here, over here. Game time, MP. Let's get it. Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, here we are, Clark. This is game two of a back-to-back -back for these guys, so should we expect lower energy out there? I certainly am not counting on that. I mean, these guys are in tremendous physical condition. They can handle a quick turnaround. That's part of what they get paid to do. The starters for the Utah Jazz. We've got Chris Dunn. He's out there with MP. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Walker Kessler. And Hendricks in at the four slot. And so it's the 76ers getting on the board first. Kessler. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him. And still, they never get old. A nice shot by Reed. And Yield's playmaking continues to improve. Solid pass right there to the open teammate. The Trey. MP, no good. Down against Maxi. On the way, Harris. Shoots from the right block. Kessler with the rebound. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. MP deciding where to go with it. Takes the three. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Hey, we know MP does not lack confidence pulling the trigger. Showing you the touch from deep right there. Maxi against Dunn. And here's Maxi. Turned in an outstanding game against New York. Just five to shoot. Reed a screen on Dunn. A three-pointer off the mark. For Utah, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Inside. Boy, showing great command of the two-man game there. MP delivers the pass on time and on target. Philadelphia's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Clark, the Sixers proposing to build a new arena by 2031 in the Fashion District area of City Center in Philadelphia. And you know, Kevin, currently all this city's major sports teams play in the sports complex here in South Philly. The Sixers are hoping for their own building in the center of things. Now, MP. After the miss three from Buddy Heald, MP with it. Maxi covering. There's that floor awareness on display. MP feeling the overcommitment and then whipping that pass to the open teammate. Maxi passes to heel. Kicks it out to Maxi. Reed a screen on done. Back to heel. Six to shoot. Sinks the triple. Talk about being shot ready. Hill catches and fires as fast as pretty much anybody in the league. Clarkson finds MP. Shoots the three. Rebound by the 76ers. They are coming into this having not to win against the Knicks in their last game. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. 
Here's MP. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. A three. Oubre pulls it in. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Healed against MP. Heel kicks to Maxi. Back to heel for three. He can't get that one. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And here's MP for three. Drills it from outside. MP's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Jams. And here's Heel. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Trailing by two. Kicks it to Reed. 76ers moving the ball around. Heel the pass to Maxi. Wants to get it to Oubre and does. Selfless pass there from Maxi. Really able to handle the guard position quite well. Utah's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Healed against MP. To the middle. Out to Clarkson. The three from MP. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Outside, Maxi from the arc. Kessler with the rebound. For Utah, they've gone five of nine from the field here in the first. MP against Heald, and he goes in for the dunk. Really good thinking there from MP on that pass, getting the ball into the hands of a teammate ready to score. One thirty-three left here in the first quarter, and the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Covington checked in for the sub. And now we'll take a second to look at the race for Rookie of the Year. A new year ahead of us, and so much more for these young players ranked by their impact so far. While not in the top five currently, he's definitely on the radar screen, and he's been playing some very solid basketball. And as the rookie of the year race has taken shape here, these are the young players who are really standing out as the best of that freshman crop. And you know what? The talent they have undeniable. And the more they've gotten used to the demands of life in the NBA, the better they've gotten. Now here's Payne. Hasn't made one yet. To the inside. Here's Harris. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Jazz have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. In terms of the ideal stretch four, Mark Tobias Harris fits the mold. Yeah, he does so much so well on the court. He's an excellent three-point shooter, helps space the floor. But as a defensive end, he's versatile, he's tough, battles on the glass as well. And I just love his overall game. Taking a look at the Jazz, we've got Yurtsevin. Chris Dunn is out there with MP. Then it's Collins, and it's Clarkson in at the three. Here's Payne. It's hauled in by Dunn. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. And here's MP for three. And Utah, another three. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Payne passes to Harris. Pass to Covington. Stolen by Collins. Fox and dishes to MP. Fires the three. MP, the triple is down the hatch. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. With a screen on MP. Three pointer in Lowry. Another miss by Philadelphia. And I like the ball move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Took him no time at all on that one. MP's got 12 now in this quarter. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. 
And some changes here for the 76ers. Kelly Oubre has checked in for Melton. Buddy Heald comes in for Kyle Lowry. And Maxi subbed in for Payne. Now, here's Maxi. He's always able to provide big production, averaging 22 points a game. Harris kicks to Maxi. And stolen by Dunn. And now Utah, fast break. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Here's Maxi. Shock up two there. Maxi's got his second basket of the game. And with that bucket, he ceases a 14-0 run by the Jazz. Let's it go with a three. And Utah, another three. Yeah, you know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. Maxi passes to heel and stolen by MP. There's the three. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Jazz. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets, pushing it in transition. Now, here's Dunn. After the miss from Tyrese Maxey. Field outside. Covington setting the pick for heel. Off target from three-point range. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. And he, in the last game against the Celtics, had a nice performance. He scored 23 points, and as his team has come to expect, he was a major factor from deep, really displaying incredible hustle during this run. Guys just can't keep up with him. Kevin? Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely dumb. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. So this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Now, here's MP. Following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Right MP against Harris. Clarkson kicks to MP. Just five on the clock. The three connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Boy, how about the effort and energy that time by Covington? Just worked his way right to the glass and got the follow-up basket. MP outside. From past the arc, and the Jazz another three. Out of their last five makes, how about all five? from long range. Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. Now, here's Maxi. He dishes it to Harris. Trying to find Covington. Gets it to him. Heel. And he banks in the lane. Heel's got five. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. MP, that's for two. What a play! Simply drains it in at the buzzer. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. And so it's Utah, holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back to the action in just a minute. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Utah Jazz. The key number of the first half, three. These guys keep taking them. They keep making them. And they spread. And guys, a look now at who's been really lighting it up from outside the arc. Yeah, this group, elite. 
And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Oubre out there with Harris. Then it's Heal. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. And it's Reed in at the five. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, suddenly taking the next step. Can key that lead. Jeff, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. And here is MP following the three-pointer by Buddy Heal. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Pass to Reed. Pulls it from the elbow. Maxi, no good. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Kicks it out to MP. Back to Kessler. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Kessler's got eight points. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Oubre finds Maxi. Good ball movement here by the 76 Offline with his three. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. To the paint. Kicks it out to MP. There's a screen. Down low. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. And so here is Philadelphia. Following the bucket by the Jams. Healed from outside. The rebound by the Jams. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And that's good. Buddy Heald for three. Heald's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Philadelphia. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. And while we have a second, let's see which squads have topped the league in assists during the past month. Fifth, the Jams. And, and what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they pass the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. MP against Heald. MP with the bounce pass. It's stolen by Harris. Up top, Heald. Covered by MP. Out to Harris. Puts up a three. Another three for Philadelphia. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. There's a good screen. MP against Heal. The pass to Kessler. Comes up empty down low. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. As ever, Joel Embiid has the pressure on him to be the franchise player. He said it's not an easy job. If it was easy, everybody would do it. When you're actually the best offensive player and the best defensive player, you got to make plays. You can't be perfect. All I can do is try to do my best every game. Kevin? Well said. His best DA is pretty great, isn't it? Thank you so much for the report. Now heal. After Kelly Oubre missed from long range. Harris's shot is off. Healed against MP. Inside. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. 
man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Maxi against Dunn. Maxi, no good. The Jazz have gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. And hard not to love a young guy like Tyrese Maxey, who has such a great attitude. Boy, I love the way he plays, Greg. He's effervescent in his approach. Plays with great speed and pace and fearlessness. He's got a readiness to him and a workmanlike approach that bodes well for him the rest of his career. I think he's a potential all-star, and he delivers in just about any situation he's put in. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. The Anthony Melton. He's checked in for Buddy Heal, and it's Lowry in for Maxi. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Lowry against Sexton. Harris inside. Pass to Melton for the three. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got five rebounds tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now, here's MP. He has 38 in the game. Sexton for three. And it's Melton with the rebound. The 76ers shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. The 76ers again can't hit it. Utah has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. They set the pick to the middle. Oubre with the steal. Passes it to Lowry. Here's Harris. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play... the 76ers now outside Maxi outside Lowry jacks up a three the 76ers with another miss he's been ice cold tonight and you know you look at the scoreboard guys they really could have used this contribution so on the floor for Utah we've got Taylor Horton Tucker Sexton is out there with MP then it's your and it's Collins in at the four-man position. Now here is Lowry. Axie on the wing. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got three assists tonight. That corner shot, not a problem for Maxi. With his accuracy, he makes short work of that look. MP against Covington. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. Philadelphia's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Maxi passes to Heal. We've seen players criticized for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So, for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. And here is MP after the three-pointer from Kelly Oubre. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia on Wednesday. They'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Friday... They'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And you know for that matchup with Denver, you know they're going to be amped up for that one. And they'll need to be. That's going to be one tough game for that group. Oh, Covington really is fantastic at getting his arms high in the air when he's attempting a shot inside. Really gives the defense no chance to catch up to it or get to it. Now, here's MP. To the inside, good save it. And that's in. Nice feet on the play. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace 
and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Heal following the bucket by the Jams. No one near Maxi as he lets it fall. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. There's the screen to the paint. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. And so it's Maxey who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Covington inside the line. The rebound by the Jams. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. There's a screen by Collins. Down low. Two minutes remaining. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. John With Collins. soft hands and, and great recognition, Collins is the ideal big for a pick and roll. Covington a screen on MP. Floats one, and it's laid in by Maxi. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Pass to MP. A minute 42 left in the game. Yurtsevin finds Collins. The Jazz working the ball around now. On the clock, the Jazz need to get off a shot here. Sexton for three. Hits it from three-point range. Sexton's got seven points here in this quarter. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Utah. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences. And you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for MP. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. And here is Heal, following the three-pointer by MP. Oubre outside. The 76ers with another miss. The Jazz on offense. MP outside. It's going by heel. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock, and it's blocked. Baisley finds MP. Three-pointer. Good, another from three. And guys, this is a historic shooting night for him. Tied for third now, most threes in a game. Uh, the points, GA, just keep piling up, and the threes keep dropping in. He is red hot from beyond the arc. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.
you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. Let's welcome Mr. Rookie of the Month to the NBA, shall we?